Hello everyone and welcome to my Halloween filter overview which we're gonna go over my Frankenstein tune and I'm gonna try and show you a little bit of how I made it and what was the process of creating this filter. So let's begin. So in this filter I was using Frankenstein as an inspiration and I wanted to give it like the kind of cartoonish um, styling and uh, I have used a 3D model of the hair made by Hey Maliki which is a great 3D artist and he designed the air from this model of Frankenstein and you should really check out his works, he's super cool. So on this overview I'm gonna go over the steps that I took in order to create this look and obviously the first part was to create the deformation I was actually more inspired by Lurch character from the Adams family and I made the deformation kinda in the same spirit so I'm not gonna go over how I did the deformation but if you want to see a tutorial about it so write in the comments and definitely let me know about it and I can create a tutorial for deformation in my next videos. So here the most important thing is just when we create a deformation so I'm using the face mesh of course and one very important tip is not to move it too much. Uh, I try not to move it at all like I do the sculpting in Blender and wherever like the location of the face asset is that's where I'm doing the deformation and uh, this is basically also the same coordinates of location rotation that I export with so after I'm done with the deformation I load it into Spark and here I'm gonna go over a few tips of how I created the eyes and what is going on with the patch editor. So as you can see we have uh, physics on the hair and if I'm going back to Blender so you can see that we have our hair model which I rigged and for rigging objects you can check out my previous tutorials about how to rig correctly and how to do weight painting and all that you can find in my previous tutorials and also how to set the model in Spark AR. So just to go back once again to Blender, I'm gonna show you a few more tricks that I did with the 3D objects. And the first one is the eyes and the other one is the gut rays, the rays of light that comes up when you raise your eyebrows there it is and goes out when you blink yep so for these I used if I go back to blender for the eyeball I just used the eyeball model uh, you can find it in the spark AR library uh, I kind of reshaped it to fit the face deformation that I created and it's always nice to try and uh, put everything together kind of like just see um, the sizes and 
the locations and how things can look um, but for exporting it's also best to have everything zeroed and uh, for example here yeah the scale needs to be zeroed as well and for the god rays I've used a simple model that I created of a stack of planes and this is it just a stack of plan planes and I'm gonna show you how um, we can make this uh, look like uh, volumetric light or like god rays or anything like that so to begin I'm gonna go over the patch editor to show you a little bit how I set up everything the eyes of course are you can use the spark AR template and uh, then connect each eyeball to where it needs to go another cool tip is for the eyelids as you can see when I'm closing my eyes we kind of have these eyelids and for that I've, I was using I created the two simple um, eye patches as you can see the eyelids and they are connected to the left eye and right eye closed and each time this is basically a face mesh and each time when they recognize that the eyes are closed so they appear creating this kind of illusion of a uh, Eyelids. That's a small tip for those of you who likes to do this kind of uh, cartoonish eyes. I find it a very useful way to create it. I've also been using a really nice badge by Masketing. It's called Adaptive Scale and basically it takes everything you put on the head or in the face tracker to adapt the scale of the head so it's gonna sit perfectly on anyone based on calculations of the head size and shapes another thing uh, used for the veins as you can see I've been using a physically based material and sometimes I have problems with the alpha that when I'm using this shader type so it doesn't recognize the alpha so a nice way to correct it is with this patch just putting the texture into a mix and then to the material giving it an alpha Let's see here, now it's gone. Yep, this is without how it looks. It's even more Halloweenish, <laughs> but uh, not what I was after. So, yep, next was the patches to hide the eyebrows. There are some really nice. Um, assets by many cool creators on Gumroad and you can get these patches and make the eyebrows go away the other one is the gestures so when eyebrows raised it sends a pulse to turn on the planes which I'm going to show you now and blink to turn them off and for the planes um, what I did on the planes so this is the material of the planes as you can see 
I have connected an alpha of a circle. There are many ways you can do it. Also, you can do it with the with the patches. And this gave the planes the shape of a circle. Then I blend mode to an alpha. You can also play with it to like edit or like whichever you like and each one gives you another a different kind of like effect and it's that simple you can use it to create volumetric lights you can use it to create car headlights uh, anything really it's really nice other than that we have the screen top which i created to have this kind of like going outside of the dirt thingy uh, I was thinking about adding uh, particles uh, that apply based on the distance from the camera but I didn't really have time for this uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial about it as well soon there we have the patches for the physics uh, all of that can go over in my previous tutorials and see exactly what's going on in here and uh, yeah other than that uh, this was my Halloween filter very creepy I hope this overview, overview was interesting and please let me know in the comments what would you like to see or know better in my previous videos and I can definitely cover up the subject and make a tutorial. So until next time, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.